You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm Joel. And I'm Laura. And we are... The Newly Duds. Uh, 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 well, I don't know why we're doing that. We're not scary. <laughs> and that's Bailey. He is scary. Sometimes. Sometimes he can be a little... Well, your dad calls him a little monster. He is so. a little monster. But uh, he's also adorable, and I love him very much. Anyway, we're not here to talk about dogs. That's another episode of a different show. But uh, today we're going to be talking about... Chippies. What are we talking about today? Lay's Kettle Cooked. Ruffles, all dressed flavor. Wait, are Ruffles and Lace? I thought they were two separate companies. Uh, no, they're all owned by uh, PepsiCo or whatever. Or, is that what it is? Is it? I, I thought forgot. Frito. I thought Lay's. Oh, Frito Lay. Yeah, Frito Lay. Ruffles. though, when you buy the bags, like Lay's are one brand and Ruffles is another. Oh, I think they're because Lay's potato chips are the ones that aren't there. Ruffly and Ruffles are Ruffly. They're two different things. They're two different kinds of chips, <clears throat> but they're um owned by. Free delay, apparently. Yeah. Weird thing. Well, I didn't when you buy one bought. of those mixed bag, like, you know, things like where it's got like, you know, little bags in a, in a box, you little know, like the mixed things. Boxes. There's always Lay's and Ruffles and Doritos and like all that kind of stuff. I never noticed until just now. That's really strange, though. It's kettle cooked Ruffles all dressed flavor. Yeah, because kettle, the, the Lay's and Ruffles both are But these not are Lay's cooked. chips. But they are, okay, well, we're in for an adventure here, so. We'll figure this out here in a second. Rip that open. All right. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely Lay's. They're not ruffly. Let's sniff it. Okay. All dressed flavor is like, you know, Perfect. all of the flavors. Because ruffles are ruffly, and these are not ruffly. Oh, sorry. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not. It's weird. It's not a. Uh, this is definitely a kettle chip. It's a uh, yeah, and it's it's not a ruffle. Mm. It's uh, but it's the ruffles flavor. So wondering what all dressed tastes like? It's a Lay's plus ruffles? Question mark. It's a crunchy blend of tangy, savory, and sweet all in one bite. Ruffles brought this deliciously unique flavor from Canada, and now you get to enjoy it with the iconic Lay's crunch. Interesting. So this is just a, a hybrid of all kinds of stuff. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, because they have like, oh, sorry, go go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, typically when I've had all dressed chips, because I've had them before, I'm not a fan. Because uh, there's aspects of it I like, but I yeah. feel like it, it be, tends to be a little too, it's like when you put one too many things in your, your it's soup. It's a Canadian flavor. Right. All dressed. So what were you going to say about the bottom of the So bag? on the bottom, it says try all four now. So it's Lay's Cheetos. Lay's Doritos, Lay's Ruffles, and then Lay's, I can't tell, Funyuns, I think. Oh, we tried the Lay's Funyuns one. We tried as many of them as we could find. I didn't realize, though, that they were, like, <laughs> stealing the flavor from that, like, particular chip. So Ruffles has an all-dressed flavor, and so Lay's is using the Ruffles all-dressed flavor. Because we've had the, the Lay's Funyuns like and very the, the Lay's, like, Cool Ranch or whatever, and we've had, yeah. you know, we had all those. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, this is the, well. Here, let's let's cheers before, cheers you, before chew. you chew, and let's quit uh, yakking and start snacking. There's your tagline. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love kettle chips. He does. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of Lay's usually because Lay's are you know not crunchy. They're to me they're like kind of like a soft chip. We we did we dig on Lay's the most. Like that's the one chip that we really pick on. And, you know, it's a fine company. We just, uh, out of all the chips that we eat in our life, it's the one we care for the least. Because it's like a McDonald's hamburger versus one at a restaurant, like a local restaurant. Yeah. My kids like Lay's. Not super duper, like, flavorful. Um, I mean, there's flavor there, but it's not, like, overpowering. Okay, so I feel... Like it tastes like hint of vinegar, mm -hmm. hint of what? smoky barbecue, mm -hmm. 
and almost like a tomatoey, you mm. know, kind of. You agree? I'm gonna do one more. Barbecuey. Oh, this one's a big chunk. Oh, the big boy. Sorry, I'm gonna crunch in your. In it your tastes faces. like. Yeah, we don't know how the new mics are gonna handle because we haven't eaten anything on the new mics yet. Um, <clears throat> it vaguely reminds me of like if you were to go to a fair and get a um, uh, an, or an order of fries, and but the ketchup was already on the fries. That's kind of the the vague like thing I'm getting. But you have a sandwich, a barbecue sandwich, and it kind of all mixes up a little bit. Because yeah, everything you said is 100 percent accurate. Um, I'm trying <laughs> not to. You're trying to. No, you're fine. I'm sure you're fine. Um, and suddenly we've never talked about if if our sinister snacks are going to be podcast, but I don't think that would make any sense. But anyway, no. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So it's a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of like a, a smoky kind of barbecue sort of thing. Definitely the vinegar. And I think that's the problem is that again, it's like a lot of flavors that you like individually, but when you kind of stick them all together like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is pretty mild I like in it. comparison. It's not bad. It's I not my go-to. Yeah, it's not my go-to oh. chip. You know, I mean, I am never going to go like a go-to chip to Lay's. Uh, if anything, I would choose Ruffles over a Lay's because <clears> I like the ruffly texture. I kind of like that, like, you know, rough tongue thing. Um, like a cat. And normally, unless it says kettle, you know, I, I wouldn't normally choose a Lay's just because I, like I said, I feel like they're just so like soft. Yeah. But um, I, I, I dig these. So out, out of 10, hmm. uh, one being the worst and 10 being the best, what would you give? These I'm two? just going to go straight in the middle and say a five. I don't hate it. Don't love it. Yeah. That's about what I'm sitting it. to. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody was like, hey, I've got these chips for lunch today. You want some and we were like having a sandwich together i'd be like sure why not yeah you know, they're not bad nope they're not good they're just kind of there yeah so agreed if they would like to find us where can they find us they can find us at the newlydeads.com it is our brand new revamped website like joel likes to say <clears throat> where it's a kind of a one-stop shop we used to just have a store um and we've combined it with a blog you can find information about our YouTube videos, <clears throat> excuse me, and like watch the most recent one. Um, we've got an events section. Uh, we do have a podcast now. Um, so uh, <laughs> yeah, lots and lots and lots of things. Um, the blog section is going to be um, something very interesting because <laughs> Mr. Newly Dad's uh, a pretty, is it prolific? Is that the right word? <laughs> prolific. Prolific writer. You make me sound like I'm on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, you know, he just like, he likes to write a lot, so... I just don't haven't done it in a long, long time. He's right? a good writer. And so there every Sunday there's gonna be a new blog post for a movie review for something we've watched hopefully fairly recently, but mm -hmm. it could have been something from several months ago. Um she's gonna be possibly contributing to that as well. Plus we have uh Unearthing Small Business stuff about us and then unearthing small business. We're gonna shine a light on some businesses around the Rockford, Wisconsin area. Yep. Or um, even more, you know, depending on how big, you know, we wanna go. So. If you have a local business and you are out there in the world somewhere outside of around here and and uh email us let us know and we'll send you the form you can fill out and um get we'll back to us and we'll you. be happy to promote your business if it's something in the spooky cute vibe perfect but if it's something outside of that it's food related or whatever that's got okay no, too no prejudices there we'll do whatever we like all of the things we do yeah um and yeah i think that's it yeah so all right well thank you very much for watching and we're gonna quit yakking and start snacking